Under the Olive Tree Knits, how to work the arrowhead lace stitch pattern. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work the arrowhead lace stitch pattern, which is used in the sea spray and the mainsail shawl. The great thing about this stitch pattern is, is that it's worked over just four rows and it gives you this really nice lacy zigzag pattern. I've cast on a small sample of this stitch pattern to show you how it works with some hints and tips on how to read your stitches. Here is my small swatch and what I've done here is I've just worked a couple of repeats of the arrowhead lace stitch so you can see the zigzag there. Now that the stitches have been established I'm going to continue with the four row repeat of this pattern. First of all, I'm just going to slip the first stitch. So with this sample, I've worked in a three stitch border at the beginning and the end of the swatch. So I'm just gonna work those first three stitches and now we get into the lace pattern. I'm just gonna knit that first stitch. And for the start of a lace on the first row, you start by doing a yarn over, slip, slip, knit, yarn over, slip, slip, knit. So we are gonna use the next two stitches to create our slip slip knit. So first bring the yarn to the front and then slip slip and knit those two stitches together. Now we come to the second slip slip knit and an easy way to read your stitches here is that you'll see you've got a left leaning diagonal column of stitches. So this column here should always be the first stitch on the left hand needle. Um, to do the next slip slip knit. So you're going to be using that first stitch and then the yarn over that was made in the previous row to complete that SSK stitch. So as long as those two stitches are where they should be, you're good to go with the next SSK. And then you'll see there that continues that left leaning column. The next stitch is a single knit stitch and this stitch should always fall above the previous slip two together, knit one, pass two stitches over stitch which creates the top of the triangle there which you can see on the previous row. So that knit stitch should always fall in line with that double decrease stitch that you made on the previous right side row. So just going to go ahead and knit that. And now to complete the stitch pattern, we're going to be working a knit two together yarn over, knit two together yarn over. To work the knit two together stitch, the next stitch on the needle should be the previous yarn over that you made on the last right side row, as well as the last knit two together stitch, which creates that right leaning column. So you can go ahead and knit those two stitches together. And you'll see that's continued the right leaning column there. So just bring the yarn to the front and for the next stitch again, you're gonna be using the same two stitches to make the next knit two together and that will give you another right leaning column. After that yarn over it comes a knit stitch and the way that you can tell that knit stitch is in the right place is that it should continue the column of knit stitches that has been made on the previous rows of the pattern. You can see here that we have a row of knit stitches that runs all the way up the pattern, so we know we're in the right place to make our next knit stitch. And that's the end of the first repeat. So let's work the next repeat. Bring the yarn to the front and work the first SSK stitch. Bring the yarn to the front again for the next SSK using that left leaning column and the yarn over from the previous right side row. And then we come to the knit stitch, which falls on top of that double decrease stitch. Then a knit two together stitch, yarn over, knit two together, yarn over, and then knit one. So just continue working your repeats in this way across row one, and it should look a little something like this. So as a heads up on the next right side row, what we're gonna be doing is see these three stitches here, your SSK, knit one, knit two together. We're gonna to be using the double decrease stitch to close those three stitches together. But that's on the next right side row. First, we need to work a purl row, so let's do that. As I'm working a sample, I'm just gonna slip that first stitch and knit the next two, and then I can get into the purls. So row two of this lace pattern is all purls, so you can just purl your way back across the row. 
So there we go, row two is done. So now we're ready to work row three, which is the next lace row. For my swatch, I'm just gonna slip the first stitch and then knit the next two. And now we're ready to get into the lace pattern. The first repeat of this pattern works with two knit stitches. So I'm just gonna go ahead and knit those. And now we're going to work a yarn over SSK stitch. So you'll see here this column of left leaning stitches. So we want to make sure that's the next stitch on the needle. So bring the yarn to the front and then use that column of left leaning stitches and the yarn over made on the previous row to complete the SSK stitch. bring the yarn to the front for the next stitch and this is where we're going to be working our double decrease stitch so as previously mentioned we're going to be using these three stitches here so the column of SSKs, the knit one stitch and the knit two together to make our double decrease stitch which is a slip two together, knit one and then pass those two slip stitches over that knit stitch and that completes the double decrease stitch. So the next stitch is a yarn over knit two together and with the knit two together you'll be using that yarn over stitch made on the previous right side row as well as the knit two together stitch made on the previous right side row. So you'll be knitting those two stitches together. bring the yarn to the front and now we're ready for the next three knit stitches and the way that you can tell you're in the right place for these three knit stitches is the first stitch will be the yarn over that you made on the previous right side row the next will be that column of knit stitches that we mentioned on row one and the third will be the yarn over that you made on the previous row two so the second knit stitch on this row should always fall in the middle of that column of knit stitches so let's work that again, bring the yarn to the front and work a yarn over SSK. Yarn to the front and then work that double decrease stitch, just checking that that's gonna land in the right place. So slip two stitches together, knit one, pass those two stitches over and you'll see that that stitch completes the top of the arrow. Yarn to the front, knit two together, yarn over and then knit the next three. So that's row three of this lace pattern and you can see how this row just finishes off the top of each of the triangle shapes. And the final row is just a purl row. So we're gonna turn the work round and just work a purl row all the way back across. And there you have it, the arrowhead lace stitch pattern. If you'd like to practice this stitch pattern, I currently have two designs which use the arrowhead lace. This is the sea spray shawl which uses it all over for a really light and airy shawl. And this is the mainsail shawl which is a large two skein shawl and it uses the arrowhead lace for the border.